Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues 4.0 and which we're playing as the NCR or New California Republic and they'll uh, let you know that's my first campaign as the NCR in 4.0 because it's been a very long time between the last update and now so I figured you know what let's go back to a historical campaign with the NCR and see what it's like because I don't know exactly or don't exactly remember the last time I did this even though it's been a while so a founding myth. When Vault 15 opened in 2097, as dwellers emerged to a changed world, equipped as they were with a Gek, they set about finding Shady Sands. A fledgling settlement soon to be a beacon in the wasteland. Life wasn't easy, though. Oh, 3.2 updates. And, okay. Vault 13 0. When Shady Sands was but a budding settlement, plagued by raiders and locked in a bitter struggle for survival, it was visited by a denizen of Vault 13, known only as a Vault Dweller. He met with Ardesh who uh, shared their knowledge with him on his quest to replace Vault 13's vaulty water chip. While the water chip from Vault 15, Shady Sands from Vault, was piled too far under a rock for the Vault Dweller to recover, Aradesh's kindness made the Vault Dweller feel indebted to the struggling community. When disaster struck, Shady Sands and Khan Raiders captured Aradesh's daughter Tandi. The Vault Dweller repaid his debt ten times over, freeing Tandi and deriving the Khans from California for decades. Our running with the Vault Dweller's kindness and honor was a founding moment of the Republic. As without his bold assault on the cons and freeing of Tandy, or fledging nation would never have taken off from the ground. Or the centuries after his visit, the Vault Dweller's impact on Shady Sands would morph into the settlement's founding myth. Society would be forever morphed, but by what fundamental ideal? Deaths must always be honored no matter the cost. Okay. Self-sacrifice is essential to help others. Weekly manpower goes down. Interesting. Strangers must always be treated with kindness. Daily compliance. Ooh. The Shady Sands outgrew revering a single figure long ago. Um... I like the compliance. That's actually really good. Uh, well, always be true with kindness. Why not? President Tandy's legacy. While President Aradesh was instrumental in the foundation of his of this fair republic, President Tandy was without doubt one of the most consequential figures in post-war wasteland. Now, under her wise guidance, Shady Sands grew to the new heights, and the republic boomed in power and influence. Her thinking forever shaped the future of the NCR and the wasteland. And then. Tom arose all beauty. Under Tandy, the Republic flourished. Under Tibbet, it stagnated. When Peterson took over the reins, the Republic began to creak under, or crack under pressure. Oh, we wonder about... What is this? Over 30 years have passed since the heroes of the NCR broke the Enclave forces in Navarro. And since then, the mighty pioneers have poured north to tame a savage land. Under the guidance of the Brahmin Barons and Jerry Monroes, our people opened mines, scavenged towns, built farms, leading or to feed a hungry Republic. But not all are happy with our manifest destiny. Some tribals, unwilling to adopt the NCR's enlightened guidance, resist our efforts to civilize the frontier. She settlers from San Francisco refuse to recognize the authority of Redding's Rangers, and some the whisper the Brotherhood still has agents there, working against the Republic. Time will tell if any of these foes could threaten our march of liberty. The Bear shall triumph all its foes. Also, with this 4.0 update, there's a massive expansion in the north. In the north, I guess it really essentially north. Like half of half the country's been filled in. Half the continent, really. All of Mexico's here, of course. Um. Like, this is, this is a lot. Now, a lot of these don't have focus trees, but that's totally okay, because it's actually slowing down the game a whole lot now, which sucks, but uh, it's fine with me for now. For now, I'll complain about it later. Ooh, Montana chapter. Uh, but the Republic's golden years. Over the 52 years President Tandy led the Republic, the Union of Five States went from strength to strength. By focusing the Republic's economy and workforce on infrastructure and agriculture, California enjoyed a thriving network of trade routes and Brahmin farms. The clearing of roads, rivers, and railways paved the road for the rapid redeployment of the NCR's growing military, allowing the prompt response to threats across Southern California and reaching north towards Reading. Backed by an abundance of renewable food thanks to the get created farmland and Brahmin herds, the populations of sediments major and minor alike exploded, further ballooned by an influx of new settlers from across Northern California and beyond. Never afraid of using underhanded tactics to achieve her goals, she bullied Nerino and Vault City into joining the Republic as autonomous territories, and ordered the assault on Navarro that would shatter the Enclave on the West Coast. <clears throat> and premiership so abundant with success and victories. Tandy's legacy has shaped every aspect of the NCR in the wider world, really the wasteland. One set of her policy, uh, one set of her policies saw success beyond comparison and helped the founding Shady Sands grow beyond comparison. Nurturing of a civilian industry, not bad. Building forts. Every own state. Oh, whoa. Clearing the railways across the wasteland. That's not bad, too. Cultivating arable land around the settlements. Well, this is probably the best choice to do. Actually, do you have folk? I don't know. Montana chapter, I doubt has it. They do. Oh, they do. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I I always say this because it's true. I piss off the devs a whole bunch for TNO. Not TNO. Well, maybe them. Especially overall blues devs, so I apologize if the devs are watching that I've insulted them so many times. But 
Over Blues Devs, they do they do some serious good work, man. They really do. But they don't like me, probably. The State of the Union. The NCR has faced many crises throughout the decades, but has always managed to weather most things down, or weather most things thrown at them at relatively intact. The Republic is not as strong as it once was, though, and is relying ever more aggressively on military responses to most thorny issues. Stagnation in the Zenith. Soon after President Tandy's passing in 2248, the NCR reached its zenith under Tandy. Shady sand spread from the Pacific to the Redding. From the boneyard of the gates of Mojave, even the Golden Circles, the towns fell beneath the Bears' vault city welcomed the NCR garrison, and Reno became an associated state at home. Tandy's fierce regulation against Brahmin barons and rich traveling or trading monopolies ensured prosperity and support for the Republic and revived dreams of a better world. Tandy's successor, Tibbet, continued the good times and all th thought the Republic's good times would last forever. <coughs> Excuse me, but the fate of that republic changed forever in 2253, when a caravan of 38 NCR citizens journeyed from Arizona to Baker, and which was attacked by raiders in the northern Mojave. At the time, a desolate no man's land, President Tibbet followed Tandy's mold of preferring diplomacy to brute force, was slow to react to the crisis. While Tibbet dithered, opportunistic senators smelled blood. Uh, chief among them was Wendell Peterson, demanding a military support for the crisis. Peterson garnered Tibbet with the promise of the Bear Claws. Peterson's inauguration showed the limits of the NCR's progress. Peterson allied himself with wealthy ranchers, the so-called Brahmin barons, and relied on increasingly militaristic expansion of his policies to win the support of the population. With the Brahmin barons' rise, and the vast expansion of the military continued, the NCR started a haphazard period of stagnation. Fueled by a barren uh, uh, caravan of money, the Republic began a harsh cycle of consumerism and corruption across the nation. Sure, the Republic thrived, but it was no longer ordinary people gaining most from the growth. By 2275, much of the Northern California is run by the Redding, by the barons themselves, benefiting from NCR protection while contributing little of their own. The Navarro territories, liberated with brotherhood assistance, were a seething frontier, and the Mojave, well, as you say, the house always wins. The military complex groaned under Peterson's weight. Militaristic propaganda made the Republic cynical. The big business brought in money but hurt our policies. This one. Democracy and Despo Despotism. Democracy in California has remained relatively stable since the conception of the Republic. <clears throat> But the NCR's democratic system is far from safe. Dirty money clogs mechanisms of government, and the lack of direct elections for president sapped the NCR's legitimacy. While democracy would survive most challenges at the moment, the 2020, 22, 2022 78 elections still promises to be the pivotal moment for the NCR's future, and crises in California. When is California not having a crisis? Life in the wasteland isn't simple, especially not for democracy as cumbersome and problem ridden as the NCR. After decades of decadent decline into the premiership of Peters and Kimball, the Republic is facing a number of crises on many fronts. In the South, Degla faces off with the raider groups along the Colorado and Baja, who threaten the booming cities, security, and pro uh, prosper. The brother lurks in, the, uh, blah, 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 in its bunkers. Whether they will be friend or foe is too, tell, too soon to tell. San Francisco, nominally a friend of the Republic, pursues its own designs under the she. The barons continue to run the r roughshod over the people of Northern California, with the NCR distracted Vault City and Navarro debate their own course. Between now and the 2022 2022-78 election, the NCR will face a number of crises that it must react to. When these arise, they will be put to the Senate, who prevails will decide the fate of the election 2278. Democracy must prevail. Or not. Motion no confidence. Nope. Mm, hub intervention. Refurbished Bazaar. The Bazaar has been the heart of the shady sands since the founding. What greater way to showcase the prosperity and power of the Republic than turning into a variable shopping mall? 2278 election. It's a new. The NCR may be a bit different from what you're used to. There are no chieftains, town bosses, kings, or dictators here. Our leaders are elected by the people. That's right. Every state has the right to send representatives to the Hall of Congress. These representatives select the president, and vice president, or head of the council, and is their advice, which guides the presidential's, uh, presidential decisions. The Senate election of 2078 will decide, ultimately, who becomes the next president. President Kimball is likely to remain in office, but he faces opposition at home. My allegiance is to the Republic. Do democracy. The followers are fierce opponents of Kimball. And are backed by Governor Al Good Murphy. As once he put it in the speech earning his name, we must be thankful that we have no ills at home and can afford another war. There is no crime in the Republic. There is no want in the Republic. There is no children in need of schools, no sick in care of need. There are no farmers who need assistance, no neighbors who need a hand. To spend as much blood and treasure as we have all must be good. <clears throat> One of Kimball's other critics is Mayor Hayes of Daglo. Mock for his old world blues, Hayes studied America's past. At the days when a nation stretched from sea to shining sea, with influence extending from pole to frozen pole, Hayes opposes the war in the Mojave because the resources there could be spent to uplift the Republic, indeed. Hayes is perhaps the only NCR politician who does not respect the House, but admires it. <clears throat> respect House, not the House. So better than worshipping the Maxim Dynasty. So what can we do? The Bear Roars. Stay of the Disunion. Oh. We have different paths we can take here, too, so. It's a little hard to see which ones you can do, I'll be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Arms workshop, power plant. Oh, I see. The selection of 2275, the Vault Cities Council is choosing a new leader. A diplomatic visit to promote ties will help remind their fire city where their best interests lie. 
What do we have here? Because we can do all this stuff, which is fine. Who is this? Alice McLafferty. Oh, that's not very good. Terry at Mama Von Graf. No, that's not good either. And like normal. Oh, that's not that's actually really good. That's not bad at all. Bastion of Democracy. I kinda want more pee pee. Then again, I always want more pee pee. Ah, oh, that's a little different. I like that one. Damage Gibson's on bad. Power broker? Uh, can't do that one, so. What is this? Outside volunteers, huh? Kono Oroyas. Um That's not bad. Actually, can we send volunteers? I'll be honest, this is harder to read and see what we can actually choose than not. Because I can see this, but it's very similar. That's very hard to read that. Did any of this stuff change? No, it doesn't really look like it. Alright. Um, conventional Warp, we'll probably go with this one. Yeah, I want to get some Army XP done. And then maybe blow up our stuff too. Uh, yeah, it's 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 just a little difficult to see. I mean, obviously, a lot of these aren't ready to be done, which is fine. But uh, still, Buster's important expansion. Despite small beginnings, Buster's important has grown from a humble tent to a mighty uh, manufacturer. They will, they will gladly contract with us. Nice, nice work is needed. I'm actually going to come over here and grab planes because I do like planes. Planes are very nice. All right, nuclear scientist. Nope. Selection of 2275. Buster's Emporium. Can we actually level them up? I don't think we can. No, we need like 30. Oh, more than 19. Okay, that's not bad. We'll get there. The Shady Sands power plant. Shady Sands power plant dates back to Aradash. Uh, but it's time for an upgrade. We can always rely on Hoover Dam after all. Pretty much. To the hub. Hub intervention. Um, yeah, it's been a very long time since I've actually played this, so I'll, I'm going to screw this up, so I apologize ahead of time. Um, the, the hub. Because I do know we take out the rapids as well. Sh Shayna Wellby. Cap of the rapids. Cool. No, that's, that's upgrade you first. Nice. Very nice. Reclamation Authority. Gang balance blooms in the hub. Oh boy. The hub is in some ways the epitome of the NCR's contrast. Home of the Thieves Guild and underground, it's home to some of the richest merchants of the West. Recent economic development has attracted thousands of citizens of the city, attracted to the promise of a bright tomorrow. But not everyone can succeed, unfortunately. The gangs have taken advantage of those who fall through the cracks and continue to grow in power. Investing in the bone in could be a long term benefit to the Republic. Chaos. New branch of Focus Street, beginning with the Focus called the Century of the Hub, will become available to us. Such so surprise of progress. Wow. Let's do that one. Crash is in the hub. Deploy federal troops to the hub. We've only ever enjoyed a loose grip of our southern trade cities, and a dominance of local trade groups has become blatantly obvious. As violence is erupted between hostile smuggling gangs and the hub, if we don't intervene too, we risk a bloodbath the way we walk. Eric Dash was not the first president of the Republic, he was also a strong believer in the teachings of Dharma. Dharma was one of the great teachers before the war prophesied that man's greatest greed or greed and folly would lead to the death and destruction. Only by following the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path can mankind avoid the endless war of an unchanging war. Understandably, the faith mocked as a Californian cult before the war flourished in its aftermath. Dharma's presence isn't as flashy as a range of outposts of crimson caravanization, but the faith makes its presence known throughout soup kitchens. Hospitals and its the followers, for a single candle of light. For a single candle can light thousands, and the light is not decreased by being shared. Conquer anger with love and lies with, with truth. Economic growth and shitty sense. Trade and commerce expand shitty sense. Excellent. There are ministers for this. Increased trade routes lost by zero. Well, if it's increased by zero, whatever. Two days left? Yeah, this definitely runs slower, but whatever. Just me and my, uh, cold coffee. Battle of Bodega. Oh, God. Oh, what happened over here? The uh, sleepy she town of Fusang, near the side of the old Bodega, is one of the handful that doubt the coast of Navarro, and it's all well there until 12 o'clock, 11th of April. 2275. That fateful day, she insurgents attack her tax collectors, trespassing on hard won soil. Can we stand for this? No, of course not. We'll go to war. How can we protect our uh, citizens? Defending people, whatever the cost may be. Oh. All goods free. Well, crap. Now everything's falling apart now. Oh, Fusang. 
Whoa. Oh, they don't have a unique focus tree. I had no idea that things were so good from every crowd in the halls of Congress, though we once again face a war. The Van Graffs and Barons and Vile trample the rights of travelers, they extort crops and settlers from the she, and they smuggle guns and drugs to Oregon. Oh, no, no. Do you ask NCR soldiers to fight and die for them? Kimball waited for the crisis, or cries to die down, then slammed a fist on the podium. Spare me your moral condensation, Murphy. As far as I can see, it's only the Republic that takes risk for humanity. So our rangers that crack down on cannibalism in Navarro, our merchants who sold the she their farming tools, and our settlers that tame the mighty forests of the north. Some of our men fight for nothing more than a flag in their own interest, but we, but we stand by the people of Navarro and the Republic. The one society that goes armed for right and for freedom. I will not surrender our hard won lands so you can feel smug at home. To the Republic, the home of freedom. Uh, all good Murphy of uh, the Boneyards called for a vote of confidence of President Kimball. Raises the possibility of Kimball's removal from office before the end of his term. To file the vote, President Kimball will need to secure the support of a majority of senators and vice versa. Once he's chosen aside, though, our national focuses. The other side also begin to take measures against us. We should stay on our toes. should not take it from others. Oh. Rally, senator. Well, to the problem of home freedom. We support Spurs of Kimball to come in the struggle for power. Sure, he might bend the rules sometimes, possibly accept slightly too many bribes, or accept. But as Warhawk stance, keep the Republic safe. Crap. Support him. Uh, hmm, interesting. Stoke militarism. Free market contracts. Authorized raids on gang headquarters. Public library. Um, I'll do one of these first, maybe. Increase the factory output. State militarism sounds like fun, though. Perhaps the greatest advantage over all goods campaigns of golf uh, and opinions on them, or opinions of war. While far from a pacifist, all goods ties of various peace trees make him weak to militaristic rhetoric. Let's stoke it. The bone yaw, which wants to rebel against us. So, Navarro. Carisu. Interesting. Economic growth. Oh, looks like we just close out of that one. Don't have to worry about that ever again. Since the is the Navarro Pro. Spurred to action by a swell of public outrage for following the Navarro War, a bipartisan group of senators demanded the opening of a Senate inquiry into the events that have unfolded. The Senate has, of course, complied with their demands, and now Pro, dominated by all good supporters, have begun digging for evidence that the attack was spurred by the lax Republic expansionism. We'll shut down the slander and remind people that the she and brotherhood started this. We'll find a way to shut it down. Uh, manager subjects, nothing really there. We're gonna do a lot of restoring stuff. Uh, there's draw plans for Hoover Dam and whatnot. Oh crap! What is this? Denounces jingoism, huh? Blank corruption. Confidence of the no countdown vote. Please, this investigation. Brushfire Wars, there's a lot of stuff over here. Request aid from the followers. Holy crap, there's a lot here. Um, go down to five there. It's fine for now. You do it again? No. The hub. Nope. Well, we don't have more than 19. Give us one day and we'll be able to do it probably. There you go. Home requests. An envoy from Shield arrived from the request. Caps for the endeavors. Surprised with many. Seldom few opportunities have risen where both we'd brush past with a she. No less than at one of their own approach us. Rumors and stories speak of the technological prowess. A force to be reckoned with had they bothered to step beyond the palace and of the mystical vines that seemingly cleanse the air. Uh, these legacies strike interest in many and fear in others. Perhaps a she can make greater friends of foes. Fature, Borvens, the generous. We'll go like ping pong between these two, so. Um, it is a little dark in this focus tree here. It's quite dark, actually. Are we scared of the dark? Not so much. I'll probably authorize the raids on gang headquarters. Federal troops on the streets of the hub may have been able to quell some of the more violent gang clashes, but while the leadership of each gang remains operational, we won't be able to properly quench the conflict. Let's eliminate them. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Do you guys actually have No, you don't. What if we just get involved? We can send 10. Holy crap. Ooh. These are our special forces. We could do it. Oh, never mind. They didn't want us. Okay. 
Oh, go screw yourself then. Camp McCarran, huh? We don't own New Vegas, so I don't know why we get that. Oh, the hub. The big hub hub. As we are trying to build more cities too, so. I don't understand how, like, this is supposed to work, like, really effectively. Stuck militarism. I want to do all this stuff, but we're kind of stuck doing all this, so. Free market contracts. Let's rush through this stuff first. What Murphy calls corruption is merely a recognition of the fact that big businesses can provide the best services to the Republic. Why should we pay more for rations just because they come from a small farmer? To who sport, let's offer the to make all bids for government contracts available to the lowest bidder will save us this will win us friends and save money so where are we at for this oh, okay it's much higher now but still um downplay baja failures celebrate mojave successes uh yeah, let's do this. Shut down the Navajo probe. Set up by a group of senators loyal to Alga, the Navajo probe is scathing the report of the NCR imperialism and also threatens our expansion of the Mojave. Have it allowed to continue to risk completely blowing our campaign out of the water and celebrate the Mojave's successes. Oh, we need at least 201 extra equipment. While the Mojave campaign began as Gwendo Peterson's war, it's rapidly translated into the President Cable's hallmark policy. We just applied some creativity to recent reports from the Mojave. We are surely boost our sense of support. And one way to do this is increase the flow of resources from the Mojave. Vault City expels a garrison. Chief, uh, Security Chief Meyer expelled our garrison. Our troops have been politely but firmly escorted back to the NCR through Reno. Since insult to the bear, but given our preoccupation with the Mojave, where Vegas glitters on the horizon, perhaps this is for the best. What do we, what do we really need Vault City for? So now we like no political power. Um, we're shutting down the Navarro probe, because even though right now it's not looking very good. Will Senate impeach President Kimball with the Navarro crest, or will they spurn Governor Murphy's idealism? So, not good. Navarro probe, eh? Complete this investigation. No. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hopefully we can still do okay. And if not, well, then i got to redo this. But that's alright, we're not that far into the uh, campaign, really. I mean, even though we spent like 20 some odd minutes already, whatever. Naval Base San Diego? Sure, why not? Let's take a look here. So how's this going to affect this? Alright, so it'll be a little bit over. I don't trust. So we're going to continue to celebrate Mojave successes. Downplay Baja failures. I still want to authorize raids, though. I wonder how long we have until we do this. Downplay Baja failures. It's more than fair to say the performance of federal troops, or troopers in and around Baja have been poor. But how come everyone forgets the heroes of the Rangers? Look at all they've done for the Republic. Look at all they've done. All right, so now we're doing the oh, President Kimball's vindication. Despite the credible challenge to his leadership from all good Murphy, President Kimball's managed to retain the sense support and keep his job. As policies is vindicated, now he can turn to face a 2278 election. But we're currently doing the Boneyard Row. The only way to further the hub's development is to improve the railway to the Boneyard. Not bad. Cool. Oh, we got so much here. There ain't no business like she business. Open up the eastern route. Oh, the divide of the prosperous community along the trade routes of the Mojave. But if we wish to truly protect the region, we wish to try to occupy it directly. Oh, yes, please. And at this point, we might as well let time go because it is, like I said before, quite laggy. You see, so the divide, eh? That's how we're gonna do it. Um, I want you to enter someone else. Ranger General, Ranger General Mossman, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna keep you three right here. It's going to be very contentious doing that type of stuff, but you guys are going to come down here. Every time I look at the divide, it always looks a little different. Pro Man of Prospectors, we got like no money. It's hard to see what the money is, because it's over here. But like, I want to see, and you can click on it to see all this stuff, but I, I prefer, I honestly prefer it in the decisions tab. So if, like what it used to be, like NCR dollars economy. See, oh, income, expenses. And there it is. Super easy, so. I don't know, maybe the devs will change it, but we'll see. I don't know, I'm not super opposed to it, but I think the old way was a little better, in my opinion. But then again, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet playing a game. I'm just me. Brush Fire Awards course, presidential declaration. Gotta wait for that. Rally support. Um, petition for Vala Raid. Boneyard routes. Open up the eastern routes, son. After that, the Empire of Liberty. Get 
3% in a maximum production efficiency and a 5% increase in war support. Our friends in Reno. Rapid expansion. Oh, so distract rural we'll by other avenues for expansion. We ignore the raiders and tribes that lie on southern Colorado's banks. Sound wrecked by that. Battle plans we get to. Uh, I'm not going to use that, because if I remember correctly, do we still have this here? Yeah, that's tactics. Ah, we do. That's really good. Less supply use. Or special forces stuff. Ah, let's go. Infantry first. Um, ain't no business like she business. Let's go through this one first. And we can always do rapid expansion down there. Um, anything over here to the side? The Mojave Affair, we're not there yet. We'll get there eventually, though. Do you need to do that one, too? Outpost, Ranger Headquarters, not bad. Uh, railway. Oh, we got railway construction. Ooh, cities. Probably do Shady Sense Power Plant still. Of course, days dates back to Air Dash, but it's time for an upgrade. We can, can't always rely on Hoover Dam after all. You never know what's going to happen, Hoover Dam. In the meantime, too, do we have any planes? Yes, we do. 43 to be exact. Hey, that ain't bad. Let's them right there if we can. Come on, what you got. Or, uh... Yeah. What do we want here? Inspirational? Sure. Oh! Well, okay. Attack, light attack. Two more attack. Beloved leader? Sure, why not? Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, research speed is very good too. Actually, where are we on? We're on complacent hegemony. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh, it's so bad. Sure. Send some guys out, why not? Well, let's see what we can do. They attack us, which is what I kind of pretty much plan on them doing. Oh, we're in peace on court too, that's not good. Um, Baron. Oh, that's that's really not bad. Um, it's not bad either. Drummond's of course not terrible too. Naval reformer, naval XP gain doesn't really matter. The bear's wings, that's okay. Um, the defenses are online. Our advanced elements strategically trigger the base's auto automated turrets. If not sufficient anti armor weaponry uh, on hand to deal with them, reinforcement had to be brought up and rushed turrets with handheld explosives under covering fire. I expected they received major casualties and lost more than 70% of their operational strength. Do not expect them to recover anytime soon. Evacuate with the wounded and pray for the casualties. This, is, this better be worth it. Trade tariffs, construction speed 5%. I mean, that's okay. I'd rather spend it on getting more money. Um, here, do it to Chinsky. Because still Chinsky is usually pretty good to do. Nice. We want to go, try to go in too. We do need some more anti tank. On our actual division. Supply equipment could be better. Motorized vehicles. Oh. Not you. There you go. Special forces, rangers. They already have anti tank, which is very nice. NCR troopers. Why not? Better get that started. You never know. Uh, the capital fund. In the old world, a critical role of the government was to parcel out funding for critical failures and functions of our state and cities. Whether development needs to be facilitated, which such as in Shady Sands today, the government of the Republican offered the necessary funding. But we'll do rapid expansion first and then do that one. God, just so much expansion. It isn't bad, don't get me wrong. Electronics, not bad. Uh, would you guys like to get involved? Should be fine doing this. Especially with green air. I mean, they're only gliders, but still. Hey, and the circuit, look at that. That's pretty nice. And get a healthy amount of army XP, too. Even more increases in army XP. 2% is not very much, but it's better than nothing. Be inspirational because you can. 
You're leading infantry, so... Serious Ranger? Good. Ward working's fine. Uh, get some more output. Actually, it's a little bit of time. There you go. Not bad. Hey. We got him. Thank you all very much. The Divide. So if anything, I think it'd be maybe best when you come down here, strike them like this, and bing bong. Los Algodones. Godanes. Godanes. Yes. So we got a rapid expansion. Let's go to the Capital Fund. And then that's going to be followed up with what? Develop the Eastern Route, maybe? For the Divides Territories? We could. Friends in Reno. Ain't no business like she business. They hear about the she and mighty people who seek to explore the stars, develop new power armor and fuel sources, and build their own vertebrates. Honestly, maybe we should have annexed them instead of focusing on the Mojave, but there's time to rectify that. Now I could be playing this completely wrong, and I might be, but. You know what? We're here to see. Here to see and learn. Alright. More divisions. Nice. Would you all like some volunteers or something? Or... Oh, invite to faction. You're by them. So... Wait, is that impassable terrain? But they still broke out through there. What the heck? Uh. Well, I guess we'll wait and see. If they die, they die. But still, I don't want them to die. They might actually lose here. She wants to join us. Petition join allowance to respond. Welcome aboard. Uh, you know what? They joined the NCR. Why not? We don't have to go to war with them that way. They join us. Oh. Maybe that's not historical, but still. I mean, I'm going to play the, the NCR a whole bunch of different times, so. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> but let's go to war. Shall we? We shall. Alright, so you're gonna go on a warrior on you guys. Go straight through there. Should be able to do okay. Capital funds, nice. Develop these routes? Or it ain't no business like she business. Yeah, ain't too bad. Especially getting more army XP. That's all I care about right now. Yeah, they're gonna lose. Holy crap. Why are they so bad? That's historical, I guess. Thank you. Can I join your wars? They don't need a direct help. Well, I don't know about that. They're losing pretty badly. They're losing pretty darn god awfully badly. Alright, what's next? Shea Sands. Very nice. Fuel fortification, not bad. I'll take a Petro Chico. Alright, rapid deployment. Yeah, probably won't do this one. Rapid settlement, really. 
Many of our veterans will be glad to settle farms along the Colorado. It really raises the question why we didn't occupy it earlier or sooner. Cropland attackers, very nice. Uh, a little ahead of time, though. Uh, oh, this is different. No, look at this. Huh. I won't forget that now in San Francisco. The San Francisco and the Shia are not at least some of this prosperous port in the city trying the Republic influence is often neglected as we focus in New Vegas indeed. One can walk the streets of houses of little treasure and never heard of it, but at Center of Scientific Engineering, home to a prosperous little warrior people, and our friend fortunate for us dividing exploitable Kung Fu schools. Whatever our decision by the city, we should make sure it's guided by the way sounds greatest nation. You know, their tech would have been really useful at Hoover Dam. Sand and the Rangers, well, and New Hand on the Tiller, that'd be really cool, but yeah, that's okay. New Colorado Fleet, Adder Patrols, that seems okay. Southern Fleet, huh? Deep Blue Sea. Remember the rig. Well, we can wait for that stuff, definitely. Um, the Bear's Paw. Whatever our differences with the Shi'ar, are, the economy is crucial to New California. Rather than concern ourselves with the domestic affairs, we should work with San Francisco's movers and shakers. Bear's Honey Pop. San Francisco has no choice but to work with the NCR. <clears throat> oh, cut off this. Who are we going to sell the goods to otherwise? We can profit from this to build a firm relationship. The Wise Dragon. Crush Rising Dragon, which we can't do. The Wise Dragon. The Shi sees dragons not as monsters, but as heroes and guardians. So too shall the Shi serve as California's guardians under our watch. Cool. Has now fallen into chaos. Cool. Our friends in Reno. With the emergence of New Vegas Strip as a competitor in the previous years and signing the Treaty of New Vegas, more and more tourists are now pouring away from the lawless Reno to uh, Vegas. And more tourists are now pouring into the city from lawless, lawless Reno to Vegas, a perfectly preserved city, protected by ever vigilant Securitrons. Even now, Reno's economy is crumbling under its own weight, and Mr. Bishop is aware of this uh, shift in power in Nevada. We can offer a bailout in Reno, provided they allow the Republic. Oliver has lost Mojave for the new for the New California Republic, facing a devastating defeat at the hands of Brother to Steel. Oliver has been forced to head back to Long 15 towards the Shady Sands, thankfully. It seems that he won't be asked to call it a service anytime soon. The Brother would not seemingly too eager to chase him back into California. We haven't faced a defeat in this, this bad in years. That is pathetically bad. If anything, the resistance should be shooting up. What's shooting down? What's going down? Seek appeasement? Uh, what do we want to do? What do I want to do? We do you get Watts Electronics? Not really helpful. Power broker, of course. Oh, we're on really militarized economy already. Oh, that's not bad. There, make more stuff for us. What does this even mean? It seems like we can always upgrade this, but how many times can we upgrade the same thing? To not get any higher level. That doesn't make any sense. There's Paul, of course. Um, friends of Reno, of course. And then we have, after a bailout of the economy, the perhaps our friends of Reno will pay back a kindness and grant us access to the Sierra, Sierra Army Depot. Our friends in Reno, one of the cornerstones of the NCR is the free movement of people and goods between its states. The Gopar Traders investment in Reading is the latest of many investments that are knitting at California together. Let Hayes uh, dream of rebuilding the old world. These ties are proof that we should make a new one. Peace is good for business. Not bad. That's what we're um, asking for the Sierra Arma Depot. We'll see what happens. Buy it from the chop shop. Tank technology research speed. Eh, we could, but. Reminder Royal. Ooh. Let's do the Empire of Liberty. We shall. <clears throat> add to the Californian Union a barrier against a dangerous extension of the Legion, and add to the Empire Liberty an extensive and fertile country, thereby converting dangerous enemies to valuable friends. It's always a good thing to do. A little ahead of time, whatever. Hang dogs, robot city. It's a player working. We're a little bit ahead of time, but that's alright with us. We do have quite a few divisions now. Well, not quite a few, but a good amount. Not enough, though. Um, Can we actually expand these guys any further? No. Going to all combo with, so, yeah. I keep not even reading this properly. So, this one says, promote this economic no but increase the level by one. But that doesn't happen. Progress 100%. Towards the possible promotions at 100%. A Cedar Army Depot. As the heirs of America falls us upon us to reclaim the glory of the old world. Sadly, Mr. Bishop doesn't understand that, and the Cedar rejected a request for the Cedar Army Depot simply to take it by force. I like Vegas better, anyways. Alright. 
If that's the case, how strong or thicker are you guys? 14 comp? What the heck? You guys are 16 combo width. Actually, you have how much soft stack? 32.8 um, and 49. Organization, 52, 30, 28. Uh, a little thicker. Here, come up here. Alright, so, where are we at? Uh, no, we don't need that for now. Brushwire Fire Wars, potential border war targets. Border war sees the CRR and Depot. All own suits of divisions available for border war. All generals. Begin planning a border war, sure. Brass is right. Alright, so, this might not turn out so well for us, but we'll see. There. Um, Lee Oliver. Well, let's see who's strongest. Level four. Oh, XL leaders. John Hanlon. Yeah, definitely. John Hanlon is probably the best one to choose. Or actually, before he's he's level four as well. Brigadier General Thompson. Give us a little more time for a little more organization first, and we'll do it. Passive refugee assimilation. Whatever. Three, two, one. Let's, maybe, come on, try it. 100% so far. But we'll see. 92, come on, come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Oh, we might not be able to, oh, maybe we can, maybe we won't, oh, we'll see. Hey, Victor! Yay! The Republic was victorious and seized the Sierra Army Depot from Re Reno. To think of all the bloodshed that would have been avoided, they gave in to demands. Why don't they listen to reason? Whoa. Hoover Dam. Interaction seems like it's been very limited. Responses. No? Alright. Well, I'm part of Liberty. Baja Blues. NCR efforts to sell Southern California's ball were hampered 20 years ago when the settlement found itself ill prepared to fight against innumerable Mexican tar cartels in the region. With the desire to attain the South, Rignado shall undoubtedly bring civilization to this lawless land and the region. Question is, will we lead the charge back into Baja? It's fine for now. Coronated Assault. Here. Take a. Uh, how are you guys? Do that. Not bad. And trip warfare, yes, please. Robotics, fresh from life. If you don't need about that, please go right ahead. I would like some more stability, please. Yes, sir. And some more manpower like that. Uh, there. No more of that, too. That'd be nice. Scanners found something. Oh, check system schematics. Not bad. Eh, it's alright. Less supply consumption would be bad. Speed, reinforce rate, not gonna use power armor. This would be good to do. Uh, you know what? More army XP, why not? <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to the Pioneer kits as well. It's fine. Baja Blues. In the year 2256, the NCR colony of Rarotail was established in the northern po portion of Baja, California. Brave pioneers received formal NCR funding by little military protection, a choice which proved fatal. The young colonialists tried to develop the region's water supply, but Mexico's fearsome raiders tried to take back their hard-won gains. Actually, where are you guys at right now? Why don't you all right here? The cartels retaliated against a small settlement and launched two major assaults against the township, both of which were stopped with relative ease. It was the intervention and wisdom of a young ranger named Hanlon. That ended the dispute before the toll of the conflict became notable. The man crafted a clever lie, spouting nonsense about an army of raiders that would soon come up and wipe the town away. The colonists evacuated. Their locals regained their water supply, and the greater conflict was avoided. Fortunately, the lie had an unintended result. But now, Aaron Kimball faces pressure to go south and find new land for the bear to trot upon. Uh, goes with Kimball's support. Mossman deploys a squad of ranger volunteers to the front lines in preparation for war with Baja. Aaron support, Aaron support Daglo for cracking down raiders. Mayor Hayes. Hector Santangel. Santangel. 
It's not bad, but I'm gonna go with Ranger Mossman. Conquest of Baja. Too long, the Raiders, uh, Baja's Raiders menace people in their way of life. We must teach. Teach? I guess we're teaching now. Baja California Act lift business restrictions. Oh, that's a lot better. A tandy pass many laws to protect small farms, but larger farms will be more productive. Why should we risk our cities going hungry to save a few folks who can't keep up with the times? Twelve combo with them. Huh? Follow Diana. Goodbye, Diana. Hardly knew you. How much money we got right now? Four seventy-four. Consumer goods. Why not? Boneyard is forever going to be sucking for. I don't see the point of doing this anymore. Since we get a chance to upgrade it, that's pretty worthless in my opinion. That's uh, uh, truthfully completely worthless. I don't ever want to see this again then. Because we invest so much PP for nothing. Conquest of Baja. Legion Lanius is looking pretty good. The Martial Republic. Jack. Jack Reed. Wait, what? Like, like CSA Jack Reed? The Hover. Stormmongers. Hover. Huh. Bumblebees, wasp, mosquito, ant. Just a giant flipping ant. Mosquito, yellow jacket. Communes, huh? The Great Stampede. The couple, huh? Metis Congress. Old Believers. The Roach King. Which has unique focus tree. Jesus Christ. How many things actually have unique focus trees now? Church of the Silo. Huh. Nice. Oh, lost but not forgotten. Ah, reorganized Mojave Remnants. Learn lessons from the desert warfare. Two of them. Sweet success. Huh. We're going as Mojave Remnants. Or explain Navarro. Look at this one first. But, lift business restrictions first. Stockman promises. This will make the Brown Baron of Reading support Kimball. In exchange for supporting economic liberalization, the Stockman Association will release more cattle to market. Why not? Now they can make money. Off their hard work. Wait, we'll see what happens. See if we're actually gonna struggle down here. I mean, if you guys want, you can do that. You might as well do the best you can. No airbase here, down here, huh? Kind of sucks. Oop. Yeah, it does suck. There you go. I'll get to them. Sorry, I've not been minding the store. My bad. My bad. Well, must start creating an agency. Ranger intelligence. Might as well. Defense core territory, just three percent more is not much. I actually lost twenty-five percent. Holy crap! They're actually, not bad on attack. Scam just trying. Hey, look at that! Not bad. Not bad. Dude, it's a crap ton of army XP though. Special force and capacity. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see Rangers two. Um, it's better. Uh, Stockman promises. Yes, sir. Exploit Navarro. Oh, you remember that? Please go right ahead. For too long, Tandy's sympathy for tribal steering the way of progress. Tandy placed restrictions on the rights of tribesmen, saying they cannot buy or sell property like every other citizen. Well, shouldn't we let them sell the land if they wish? We can use the funds to acquire the accruements of civilized life from Reddy's merchants. And if we struggle, that's okay. That's just a crap ton of army XP for us. 115 versus not too much. Okay. How strong are these guys? One to two thousand manpower, up to uh, probably I say around twenty-five-ish divisions, probably in total. 
Who are damn. Uh, walk up again if you right now. What happened to our planes here? Why do you not have any planes, son? Don't make any sense. We should all have planes. Oopsie. Crap. Pioneer kits, tribals, dogs. That's a little better. Oh, it's going to take us some serious time to do this, but that's alright. Treasure trove, not bad. What, Navarro? Yes, sir. Even though we don't have to do this until later, later on, if you want to build this, please go right ahead. I don't lose the power at that point. It's fine. Let's put Navarro. Tame Frontier. Bears, honey pot. Of course, I didn't read that one. I read that one earlier, so if you read that one again, please go right ahead. Bull, Mossman's army. Yeah, Bear Wars. Long gone are the days of the NCR. His army was nothing better than tiny militias with new, few new guns. A large nation needs a large, well maintained army consisting of brave soldiers that are capable of defending it and its interests. For NCR citizens, they deserve nothing less. At the very least, 18 convoys is still very good to get. Or very good to use, I should really say. Well, if he dies, he dies. Nice. We'll get there. More organization, even more army uh, XP accruement. It ain't much. Well, so gladly take it. Prepare defenses. Not bad. I know I'm not doing this very historically, but whatever. There's so many routes and stuff we can do. Roaring economy. Alright. Uh, the fleet can kind of wait. We'll do that one next, probably. Secrets of Navarro will be fun. Hey, you know, Tame Frontier, maybe. The Battle Pooper Dam. Oh, crap. Face of Mojave lies in the balance. Ah. Our attempts at bringing civilization to Navarro is a booming success. With the arrival of modern medicine and electricity, thousands flock to the newly tamed frontier for a new chance of life. Cool. Yeah, that's not good. They're actually pushing out the holy crap. Does the Legion suck that much? Maybe. Nah, that's not bad. Let them struggle. Do we have any demo teams? Yeah, we need to research them. Drummond's been wounded, so be it. By roars. Not bad. Just a lot of struggling, which is fine, fine, fine with us. Arising squadrons expanding the ranks versus superior firepower and bolster vanguard. Rising squadrons. I'll probably go this one. Yeah, I'll probably go with the two on the right here, probably. For higher quality divisions and just having more. Team Frontier. Store for Irwin, why not? 
Uh, outside of volunteers, outside of battalions. Well, mm, uh, that doesn't really matter too much. Damage garrison's not too big. Oh, do follows the fuck up. Why not? Why not? Great interception, not bad. Secrets of Navarro? Why not? Although follow the researchers poured through Navarro's secrets, their naive optimism meant that they likely missed many military applications. Perhaps it's time we take a closer look? Maybe. Uh, where are y'all going? Just go right there. Best form of government. Kimmel may have survived a vote of no confidence, but Mayor Hayes is still standing up for the con man and the California dream. In contrast to Murphy's population, or populism, and Kimmel's nation nationalism. Hayes is a campaign for government that works. As he put in his campaign declaration, this republic is like a uh, moot fruit pie. Blah, blah, blah. Moot fruit pie. Murphy tried to take a share of your neighbor's pie. Kimball would take someone else's pie, but we can't by working together simply make a mold. Technology made our ancestors the richest, strongest people on the planet, and we can do so again. Murphy's role in the vote, vote of no confidence has played a role in support in the Republic. It gears up for one of the toughest elections of the day. Who will win, the man with the plan or the architect of the Mojave? The Kaiser or the she mock the mob rule of California, let vote city judge the protesters. And rallies that accompany elections. The people of California know that for all problems, there's nothing wrong with California that cannot be cured by what is right with California. And the Wasteland's greatest nation prepares to choose the man to carry them forward. Happy days with Hayes. For Kimball and Calumet and Forty. Yeah. Oh, map of the. Oh, crap. Mayor Hayes and Kimball. Kimball campaigns. Host stocks with a she. Encouraging dialogue with she will gain support from the Max and trading partners. Kimball goes Reno. Boneyard Industries. Rallies in Dayglow, countdown to election day. Who was she? Boy and girl, we got elections to think about now. Dedicated equipment ain't bad. Oh, what are we missing? Guns, anti tank stuff, that makes sense. Because I'd still like more casts. More bait plane fighters, really, and they but really just a crap ton of casts. Oh, crap. Hayes campaign. Put a bear in space. More funding. Peace with the Brotherhood. Maybe I should not have done these ones earlier. The Brahmin Barons will support Kimball. Oh crap. 50% cheaper to core that stuff. It's not bad. Still. Uh, you could probably use this. Pass the Hub Redevelopment Act. The Hub has been battered by conflicts between federal forces, rival gangs, and local militias. Now the violence is almost quenched. It's time to start rebuilding some of the most damaged areas. Gimbal campaigns, sure. <clears throat> Gears convictions. Permanent state of emergency. <coughs> ah. Collapse of the Mojave campaign. Despite the vast quantities of manpower, equipment, and political capital, the new California is poured into the Mojave. It appears today that the unthinkable has occurred. Pushed out of the garrisons within the Mojave and forced to make a fighting retreat across the long 15. The Mojave territories officially capitulated, which they lost earlier. A tentative peace deal has ended hostilities in the region for now, and the bulk of the Mojave expedition has been, been reabsorbed into the Republic's armed forces. Now the Khazar's Legion control the Hoover Dam, the Republic's influence in Mojave collapsing. And so we surely need a period of soul searching to work out what went wrong. Maybe the case, as Aaron Kimball suggests, the Republic will return to Mojave, though not possibly for many years. Serious blood or ambitions. Are you kidding me? You, you kind of already went over that before. What the heck? It don't make any sense. We didn't lose it. They lost it earlier. It wasn't us. I swear it wasn't us. Ah, you say you're done, but you're not really. Oh, good God. Well, there's very few landing spots where they can actually attack us through here, so that's fine, but still. But we'll do the hub or 
Development Act and stuff like that. Uh, we now go address. Buy from the Chop Shop. Chop Shop's one of the Wasteland's major car dealers. Perhaps we can open a lot. This is an agreement to purchase their products in the Baja Homestead Act. Some claim that Baja is just an endless desert, but there are some beautiful places along the coast. Cool by the Pacific breeze. We could easily settle them. And we organized Mojave Remnants. While the retreat from the Mojave was far from ideal, the Mojave Expedition did a remarkable job preserving the lives of its troopers. After giving those who need so much to request a time off, uh, we might yet be able to salvage a fair number of troopers and ranger divisions to add in our, to our dynamic reserve. But I think I'll end up there for today. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my link in the description below. Let me know, know what your thoughts so far are on the Old World Blues 4.0 update. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with the good old NCR. Thanks for watching. And have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.